Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahino with Miss Tahino's Lego Robotics. Today I have a really cool robot. It's the Spinner Robot. Really, really cool, really easy to build. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to build it and show you what it does. If you wanna see all of that, stay with me. So the reason this is called a spinner robot is it spins super fast. It's gonna make your jaw drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to build this thing and let you see how fast this thing can spin. Let's go ahead and get this thing built. All right, so this is all that you need to build this spinner robot. Not a whole lot of materials here. Black connect, two black connectors right there. Those should be uh, sixes. These are those long dark gray nails. Not a whole lot. This should be a five. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this thing built. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put those four long blue connectors into the motors like that. We're now going to go ahead and put the two 15 hole beams onto those four blue connectors like so. Okay, then we're going to take another white 15 hole beam, put it into the motor with this red connector like so. We're going to go ahead and flip it around and do the same thing to the other side. Put that 15 hole beam in there with that red connector. Okay, next we're going to take those two long dark gray nails and we're going to put them inside of the blue beams here. Okay, we're now going to go ahead and put this through the fifth hole right there. We'll go ahead and put the... Uh, gray H piece and connect it into the blue beam like that. And we attached it to the gray H piece and having it come out through this fifth hole in this white beam like so. Okay, we're going to take those two six size axles, put one into this motor here and I took the other and put it into the other motor on the other side. Just like that. Okay, now you're gonna take the two small gray gears and put them onto those black axles, like so. And then we're going to take the two large gray gears and put them onto the dark gray axle here and make sure the gears connect. Just like that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and grab these two gray bushings and we're going to put them uh, onto the axle um, right in place where the gear is. Okay, there are gray bushings are on there. And now we're gonna go ahead and put the tires on. And there we go, both tires on. Okay, now we're gonna take these blue connectors and put them into all four of these black pieces. Just like magic, just like that. Okay, now we, you're going to go ahead and put them into the white beam. Make sure the hole's facing up. If not, just rotate it. And two on each side. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the long, the four long blue connectors and we're going to put them inside them. 
Okay, blue connectors are in. Make sure that the long part is facing up. And go ahead and grab your two seven beams and we're gonna put them right on top. And it should look like that. And we're all set now to get our brick put on. Let's do that. Okay, brick is on. And it should have gone onto all four of those blue connectors. All right, let's get the ball bearing put on. Okay, we have our ball bearing here with the two black connectors. And we're going to go ahead and put it right there. And we're almost done. We're going to take this five. We're going to put it through this piece right here. And it's going to go right into here. And that piece should go right through the middle, just like that. And this part will stick, stick up basically to counterbalance the ball bearing on the other side. And the last thing we do is we're going to go ahead and just connect our cables. So I just put this one into C. I put this one into B. Doesn't really matter if you know you can always switch it if you go onto your laptop for the software here. The program is super easy. It's just a move tank. Make sure you have it where your cables are. So I have it in BC and I just turn the motors up to a hundred because we want this thing to spin as fast as we can. And I think I put it on for 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and watch this guy spin. All right, let's go ahead and see how fast this guy spins. Say what? All I can say is, wow, guys, this thing was spinning so fast. I couldn't even see, you know, the brick. It was just, anyway, really cool, really easy build. And I was just, again, blown away on how fast this thing spins. It was just, that's where they get the expression spinning your head or head spinning. But anyway, hopefully you guys can get a chance to build this guy. Give it a test spin. You get it? Okay, hopefully you guys are still doing well. Hopefully you guys are still happy staying at home. If you have an EV3 kit, it is pretty happy. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino. I'm with you guys. I am out, and we got this. He's out. We got this. He's out. We got this. He's out. We've got this. Hey, he's out. We got this, guys.